Hardcore Minecraft is a game mode that in recent years has been extremely popular. It seems as though almost everyone has at least given it a shot, and tons of new videos have been made on the topic. Recently, a lot of my viewers have been asking me to do a hardcore series, but as someone who has felt like it was kind of overdone, I didn't want to. That was until I came up with my own spin on it. So today, I present to you the beginning of hardcore Minecraft, but the best gear I can use is wooden and leather. This is literally the worst spawn I could have gotten. Literally the worst spawn. I have no access to wood, and I don't have any food either. This is bad. Well, we have access to sticks. Not that sticks really do us much, but... Sticks are sticks, you know? We have them. We can technically use them. Is that a tree? <gasps> it's a forest! I need to hurry on over to that area. Get some wood, get some food, and... Yeah. Ooh! A fancy little cave. Maybe we'll come explore that when we have some tools. Okay, that's one piece of food. That's a drowned? I, I don't want you. I want your friends, though, you know? Hey, fishy. I need your food. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. These two drowns are scaring me. Something that makes this even harder is the fact that when I play Minecraft, I don't even play on hard mode. Usually I play on normal or easy. And so this is going to be way difficult for me already. And I'm making it even harder. I want to find some cows because then I can get leather armor. I need to find sheep too. Sheep will give me wool so I can get a bed, and a bed will be a game changer. Alright, let's get those chickens, let's get some stone, make a furnace, cook up some food so we can, like, not be just sitting ducks like those chickens. Oh, are those sheep? I see sheep. We can get a bed. This is actually not the worst spawn in the world then. There's cows. Let's go! This is a beautiful area to farm up what we're going to need. All right, let's get this chicken. Let's get this chicken. Is that a village? Oh, we found a village. Let's go over to it. All right, let's grab this. Let's start making some food. We do have access to a little bit of iron right now then. Because we can kill the iron golem. We can't really use iron for a ton of things. You, you know, we can't make tools. We can't make armor, but... We can get a bucket and uh, flint and steel, I guess. Let's go get those cows. Cows are really our best friend right now because they are the only way we're getting armor. Uh, that's the only way I... Well, I guess horses give leather too. But it's not a very high drop, I don't think. So, Cows are the animal of choice right now. Uh, all right, we have over a stack and a half of bread. We're looking good. Just don't mess this up. You know? It's that easy. Okay. Two, three. I think three works, but I'm gonna go four just to be safe. Wow, I forgot how long this takes. <laughs> uh, there we go. We killed the golem. We have our first bit of iron. That is pretty good. We have four iron, so we can make a bucket. And that's probably all we need. Oh, and we can get a flint and steel. That's sweet. Ooh, emeralds. Emeralds can be nice for trading. So we definitely are going to want those. Oh, is that another village over there? Let's go over there. I have found another village. Hopefully we can get some more iron out of it. Because, yeah, iron's pretty nice. I want to get that bucket. Let's make a bucket. Uh, we have our iron... There we go. We have a bucket. That's decent, I suppose. Uh, it's not useful until we get something in it. Also, let's make our armor. We have 24 leather. That's enough for a full set right there. Let's go. We have our full set of armor. We looking stacked. You know what? Let's get some red dye. Boom. Look at that. It's kind of crazy to think we have our end game gear right now. Oh! Stop. Stop. Oh, I messed this up. I'm I'm not doing this right. Hello. Okay, let's let's build up. Whoo! I ain't trying to die right now. All right, I found another dandelion. Now, what we need to do is we need to take our gear, right? And we gotta do this. We gotta turn the pants yellow. 
the the hat red and the shoes red. Look at that. I am stacking. You know, we might not be able to get very good gear, but we can make our gear look pretty cool. So, you know, it's a win-win. Not really, but whatever. The fact that we can make our gear look cool is a bonus. Do these guys trade anything good? I don't know what all the villagers trade, but I feel like one of them trades leather. Getting ender pearls in this is gonna suck, no matter what. I might just have to go with the, uh, you know, the amateur way of trading villagers. I think that still works. You know what I should do? I should take advantage of all these villagers uh, and get a book trading thing. I need to trade villagers. That is what we're doing now. We're waiting for night and we're getting ready for villagers. It is turning night, I think, so we will be able to get our bow. I don't really have to explore caves too much, you know? That's that's kind of a nice thing. Exploring caves is not really that necessary, because, you know, what am I going to mine? Stone? Like... <laughs> Uh, I'm not mining stone. Stone's literally everywhere. Why would I go to a cave for that? Do you guys think I should be able to use a shield? Leave a comment down below because I can get iron from iron golems and I can mine my own wood. So do you think shields should be allowed or are they off limits? I feel like a shield should technically be allowed because I can get it with only wooden tools and leather armor. But if you guys think otherwise, let me know. Oh, this is sketchy. Okay, I, I got my first monster kill, and there, we got a spider. See a spider. I see two spiders. Go! Get him! Okay, that's, that's another piece of string. That's another piece of string. Let's go! I can make a bow. How do you make a bow? I always do this backwards. Let's go! I got a bow! And now, let's make some sticks real quick. And we have arrows. We're grinding gravel. It's, it's gonna be a slow grind, but we're doing it. And it's okay. Zombie villager is melting. No, I need the villagers to stay alive for my master plan to work. I need to study up on my villager trades because I feel like maybe I'll be able to get iron from villagers. I'm pretty sure I can get enchanted leather. I know I can get books, which I need an anvil for. So if I don't have a lot of iron, it'll take forever to get an anvil. Okay, let's break this table. We need you to be a Fletcher. That's not a great stick trade. Oh, I can also get arrows out of this. Let's go. I have infinite arrows. I need a stick trade, sir. Give me your stick trade. Okay, we'll take it. You know, this is probably going to be the, one of the better ones. So now, let's lock him in by getting some sticks. There we go. What a deal. Yeah, now let's buy some arrows, too. Let's level them up. We have two stacks of arrows. Oh! Oh! Dude, you're supposed to stay in your house. Ah. Maybe I should let them out of their house. I could just build a wall around the village and then light it up with a bunch of torches. For the rest of the time this episode, I'm just going to work on getting wood. And then I'm going to start building a wall around this city. Because that seems like a really good option. We just need to get this, make this our own. This will be our village of epicness. I'm so glad that we actually got this spawn. Originally, I thought, oh boy, we're dead because we spawned in that mesa biome. And I thought that there was zero chance, you know. But we're making the best of it. Uh, this village is literally a lifesaver. It gives us access to food. gives us access to villager trading. It gives us access to beds. I don't know. We have our own little society right now. We're gonna have so much wood after this. It's gonna be awesome. All right, let's sleep in a bed. There we go. Oh yeah, we clipped right through the bed. What a gamer. All right, I think this is gonna be the last tree that we have to cut down. Then we are good. 
So let's cut it down, and I think this axe is gonna break. Yep, there we go. All right, this is all we have to do. Just finish breaking down this tree, and it's becoming night, so we're gonna sleep, and then we'll work on this wall, and uh, then we'll call it here, you know? We'll leave some of it in its purest form. Uh, also, we need to grab these, and um, let's make a few sticks. And let's make some torches. All right, we got a stack of torches. Let's get to work on this wall. We're just gonna go out a few blocks from my house. One, two, three, four. You know, and we're just gonna start building. Well, we're out of wood. Let me go grab my last pieces that I had in my base. And maybe that'll make a big enough impact, but I don't think we're finishing the wall. We'll have to do that next time. Well, we ran out of wood. We still have a little bit more to go. I guess that we will finish that up uh, next time. Well, everyone, that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys want to see me do another one, make sure to leave a like and leave a comment down below letting me know that you want to see more of this. Also, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.